Hey guys, this is Falconer Fitness. Welcome to my channel. Hello everyone, welcome to Falconer Fitness. This is my third edition in a tutorial series. Today we'll be going over quads, the big muscles in front. I think later down the road we'll do a hamstring and glute version separately. So today we're just gonna go over the quad muscle. Please like, subscribe, and follow. All right guys, so our first exercise is gonna be the leg extension. And we're isolating the quads and we're gonna do this as a pre-exhaust. So before we do any squats or anything else, we're gonna do a little pre-exhaust that pumps the blood into the quads. If I'm sitting forward, I'm gonna get more of the quad in the front. If I'm leaning back, I'm gonna get more of the quad up here. All right, so that's gonna be our goal. Okay, so our start position is gonna be here, leaning back. My knees are facing out. As I come up, I'm gonna roll my knees into the top. Roll my knees in, roll them back out. Roll them in, out. Throw it to the ceiling, full range of motion. Right before the plates touch at the bottom, all the way up to lockout. Okay, four sets of 20 is what we're gonna go for the day here. Okay guys, so the second movement in our quad tutorial today is gonna be the hack squat. We're gonna do two sets of 10. So only two top sets here we're gonna do for today. And then move on to some other movements, okay? Primarily, we're isolating the quads here. All right, so first thing in mind is I want a very low foot position. So the farther down on this platform I am, the more I can get my knees to go over my toes at the bottom, the more of a stretch I'm putting on my quad. So the name of the game here is to be as low down on this platform as possible, so long as I'm not coming up on my toes at the bottom. So I really wanna have my feet anchored into the ground and not be coming up on my toes, but I wanna be as low down on this platform as possible so I can get my knees to go over my toes at the bottom. So let me give you a little example. So this is gonna be a little too deep on the platform. As I come down, I'm gonna be coming up on my toes a little bit, and that's no bueno. So I'm just gonna move up an inch. Okay, and now I'm up an inch. Now, let me see if I can get ass to grass all the way down and not come up on my toes. Yes, so that's a good spot for me to be, okay? So now that I found my foot position, our protocol is gonna be 10 reps. We're gonna go molasses slow on the way down. So as slow as you can manage, control the whole way down. We're gonna pause in the absolute hole and then speed on the way up, okay? So let me give you a little demo. Control, control, taking little breaths as they sink down. Core is tight, little breaths, all the way down. Pause in the max hole, speed on the way up. Okay, control, control, molasses slow. Keeping core tight, all the way down. Pause in the hole, speed on the way up. Okay, slow, slow, just hinging at my knees. Ass to grass, all the way down. I'm bottoming out my hamstring onto my calf. Speed on the way up. Control, 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 pause, power. Okay? Push the seat forward so that it'll give you a bigger knee angle and less pressure on your lower back. All right, we're actually gonna superset the leg press. We're gonna do 15 reps here and then we're gonna go into some body weight squats, maybe seven to 10, basically failure after we're done with the leg press, okay? So I want a very low down foot position, so long as at the bottom, I'm not coming up on my toes. So I'm too low on the platform. As I get deep, I start to come up on my toes. So that's no good. I'm gonna move up an inch. So that's very specific depending on your ankle flexibility. So you're gonna need to play around with how deep on this platform you can be. Just like on the hack squat here, this is primarily a quad machine. The only difference is here, we get a little bit of glutes at the bottom. As we come deep here, we get a little bend in the hip and we start to add in some glutes. So this is quads and glutes primarily, okay? But with that in mind, we wanna be low down in the foot position and we have a little turn out in my toes. All right, so with that in mind, let's do our first couple reps here. Open your locks, hold the back of the seat. First thing you wanna do is let your knees hinge open so I'm not bound up by my gut. Knees hinge open and I'm gonna actually go all the way down the stopper, let it rest and power up, okay? Slow on the return, slow and eccentric. Milk it, make it count, don't use momentum. Slow, slow, slow. Rest is on the stopper, power up, okay? This is our, we're doing two sets of 15 here. Slow, slow, slow. Getting a big stretch on my quad here as I get my knees over my toes, speed on the way up. All right, so this is a very deep, deep knee angle. You're gonna have to be very flexible here, okay? So let the knees hinge open so we're not bound up by our gut. Deep, deep. Deep. Rest on the stoppers. Power. Slow. 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 Rest on the stopper. Power up. Good? So, low down on the platform, turn on my toes. That's the name of the game here. Knees over toes to stimulate quads. 
We're gonna superset the quads in this particular movement. So we're doing two sets of 15 here. In between each set, we're gonna do a body weight squat just to pump a little bit more blood, create a little bit more damage. So in between each set of 15 here, as soon as I'm done there, I'm gonna jump over here as soon as possible with my heels elevated so they can get my knees to go over my toes so it's a quad dominant squat. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hands up here for a little bit of extra balance. I'm gonna go straight down, fold into it like an accordion, keeping my chest up as much as possible. So all the tension is on my quad. Deep as I can go, ass to grass, three quarters of the way up, and back down deep. Trying to go straight down, chest up as much as possible, so all the tension is on my quad muscle. We're gonna do seven to 10 reps here, not locking out at the top, so I have constant tension on my quad, okay? This should be very painful. As soon as you're done and you're at failure there, you come to this, you shouldn't need much to create some pain. Okay? Okay guys, so the fourth exercise in our tutorial for quads today is gonna to be a Bulgarian split squat. We're specifically doing it inside the Smith machine so I don't have to worry about balance, right? If I'm doing this body weight with no Smith machine, maybe I have dumbbells in my hands, I have to worry about balance, right? So as soon as I get to failure, then I have to worry about wobbling and maybe falling over. That's not so bueno. We're trying to pound the muscle into submission so the Smith machines get a little bit more stability over just doing dumbbells. Okay, we're gonna do 10 reps per leg, one leg at a time. All right, so first we put the bar on the back. Next, I walk the bar back, walk the bar out. One foot up, one foot out. I have a little turn out my toe and I have a kind of a wide stance. So if I'm too narrow here, it's really hard to get deep. I need excellent ankle flexibility to get deep there. So I'd say spread out two to three feet. Okay, next, I'm gonna gently tap my knee to the ground, not slam it. So I'm just gonna tap my knee gently and only come up three quarters of the way. So I have tension on my quad the entire time. Gently tap, three quarters of the way up, slowly back down to my next rep. This is a finesse movement, yeah? All quads, quads and glutes. You get a little glute at the bottom. Okay, so tap your knee, three quarters of the way up, slowly back down to your next rep. We're gonna do 10 reps per leg here. Okay, this is the quad dominant version. If I wanted to hit more glutes, I'm gonna put a wider stance, I'm gonna lean forward. And then I'm getting a lot more glute here. This is the glute dominant Bulgarian. If it's quads, I'm going straight down, narrow stance. Then it's quad dominant. That's the big distinction.